Hey guys, hey the last few weeks I've been showing you how to make a stencil and then we paint the lure using that stencil. Today we're going to come back, we're going to do a deep diving crankbait. We're going to do it in a crawl pattern, but this time around for a stencil, we're just going to use a little piece of plastic that I made myself. Stick with me. Alright, as I said, we're going to do this in a crawl pattern. I'm going to come back and do one called the green tomato, or I've even seen it called fried green tomato. I've done this in a regular pattern before, but I have not done it with a crawl pattern. So that's what we're going to try for our colors. We already got the white on, so I'll have that taken care of ahead of time. And we're going to start out with pearlized green, or excuse me, pearlized lime. I love the lime color, and that's what we're going to use for the belly. So we're just going to go right up here on the sides. Get a nice pearl on the bottom. And that's all we want. Just a little pearl on the belly and we got it covered. Alright, let me clean this out. We'll move on. Alright, the next thing we need. Createx Bright Red. Now this is transparent. So I'm using pearlized. Now I'm going to transparent. And just be the nice bright red. Well, that splattered a little. That's not really good, was it? Now we'll live with it. There's our red. The transparent a little thinner. You get a little more splatter sometimes with that stuff. But hey, that's... Take what we get. Alright, got the lime on the bottom. We got our red. Let me uh, wash out real quick and we'll move on a little bit more. We got our lime. We got our red. And now we're going to take a little of this Createx black. I'm going with the opaque black. So just... Nothing pearlized, nothing transparent, just this plain opaque black. Right down the back. And that's got it. Alright. That's our basic green tomato colors. Now we're going to do it with the crawl pattern. So I'm going to get the heat gun. We're going to dry this really good before we start working on it to get the crawl pattern on. All right, for this segment, I've tried moving the camera. I don't know if this is going to help, but I'm, I know when I'm trying to do stuff in close, you can't see very well. This might help a little bit. We're going to go with our crawl pattern now. And the way we're going to do this, as I said before, it was using my handmade little crawl pattern deal. This one's marked left or right, so I've got the same for one side or the other. I've taken, we're going to use the Createx Opaque Black for the crawl. I have taken the uh, air gun and I've taken it from the normal 40 pounds of pressure that I usually use. I brought it down to 10 pounds of pressure. That's really all we're going to need for this. And what we're going to try to do is spray, as I've said before, on here and let the drift over be our mark for us. So bear with me now. I'm not the greatest with this. I've only done this a few times. So, But we're just going to hold that in like this. Leave a mark there. We're going to come back here. Leave a mark there. How about one more at the tail end back here? Leave a mark right there. All right. There we got to see that. There's our marks. Let's roll this over. Let me get this. Clean all this off. And now... I just turn it over for the right side and make sure yeah it looks like you can see that and we'll just hold this right like this there's one there's two and there's three and there's our three crawl marks made by just using a little piece of plastic that you make yourself. All right, set of eyes, top coat. That one don't look too bad, does it? I kind of like that. I think that's going to catch some fish come next spring. Well, there we go, guys. The green tomato crawdad pattern using just a little piece of plastic so you can draw in that shell. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.